Larva man, he had these furled eyebrows of a killer man. I love the way he looks when he plays. Yeah. Looks, uh, he's just such a funny personality in general, like between the rage that he shows on stream and like yeah, yeah. The, the playing with his foot. He's just like a really funny guy. We've gotten to hang out with him a decent amount. Yeah, we hung out with him in America, actually, yeah. in Los Angeles. At, at that tournament where he played with his feet, we actually got to spend a good amount of time with him. So it was like, uh, he's, he's just, he's such a character, right? And like, especially if you watch his games, like when he loses, he gets really upset and stuff, which I mean, plenty of players do, but at this level, they don't as much. Yeah, at this level of yeah. rage. Like, and the thing is, there's a, another side of this that I enjoy immensely, right? Because him and Flash actually play a lot. And every time Flash beats Rain, it's its own YouTube video on Flash's channel, okay? Yeah, yeah. And the thing is, as soon as anything goes wrong for Larva and you know that he's raging, Flash starts laughing on his stream. <laughs> I swear to God. Like, he'll kill, like... Like, he'll deny the drones at, like, a third base or something. Like, he'll kill three, four drones. He knows that Larva's losing his mind. And Flash <laughs> just starts laughing. He's just like, you know, he's sitting there playing alone on stream. Yeah. Right? Trying to win a game. Uh-huh. And to just, to because I, you know, I, I watch a lot of his games. And, like, he'll do that to someone else, and they won't just start laughing. But against Larva, every time, man. It's like. Oh, yeah. It's comedy gold on both sides. Now, uh. <laughs> One thing I want to point out about Larva, you know, since, uh, you know, for a lot of you guys that are watching the English stream, you probably don't have any access to a lot of this, you know, the ways these guys are. Um, I, I, when we went to Los Angeles with Larva, what I really appreciate about him, and this is one thing that's, that's very true about StarCraft 1 pros, a lot of them have not traveled that much. Yeah, Many of them do not, not have passports. There's not tournaments out there. StarCraft 1 mainly stayed in uh, South Korea. Uh, and so you have guys that just aren't as worldly. And when you have stuff like that, let's take StarCraft 2, for instance. All those guys have been all over the world. Mm -hmm. StarCraft 1, um, I was curious to see how Larva was going to behave, because I've seen some pro gamers, StarCraft 2 and 1, who remain nameless, who are just not into anything culturally or food-wise mm -hmm. uh, it from other places. Larva gets off the plane immediately, breathes in the LA air. We get in a taxi with him. The guy hands him a water bottle. He goes, American water and opens it up, <laughs> yeah. drinks the that water. That was funny. That was super and funny. Then, and then he, uh, we brought him to the hotel. And we were out, and he was like, "All right, I want American. We're getting him an American burger." He's taking yeah. photos. He's he's doing video stuff. Yeah, he's eating yeah. the burger. We're asking him if he like it. He loves it. He was totally cool. He was super see. into it. He was, it was just was, embracing it. You know, it was such a pleasant, uh, a pleasant experience. Yeah.